Hey everyone, welcome back. This is the Dynamic Continuum. I'm, I'm Mitchell. We're back out in the fields here today, doing a lot of tissue samples. We're pulling soil samples O2, looking at a couple different products, um, checking out Microsync today, a uh, micronutrient product from Verdesian. Um, we're looking at a nitrogen trial that we've got through Nutrient Star, which is through the EPA kind of a project. Um, looking all the way from zero pounds of nitrogen besides the manure. So it's fall manure and then zero pounds of nitrogen all the way up to 150 pounds of added nitrogen in the spring. Really cool trial there, full up blown, replicated, uh, looks really good. And uh, But another cool kind of deal we're checking out today too, we've got some guys who are experimenting with side dress manure instead of side dressing a regular liquid product or a dry product um, in the spring. So kind of interesting to be able to put manure, dragline manure, into standing corn. So this is what you would think would be an issue that you're dragging this big heavy hose across the cornfield and knocking over a lot of stuff, but really um, things look pretty good. And they've got some learning to do. They've got some things that they're gonna keep improving on, but overall it looks pretty good. And it gives manure guys more of an option to be able to get rid of manure in the field. It's gotta go somewhere. We've got millions and millions of gallons of it. It's got to go somewhere, and if we have a bigger window, that can really open up a lot of options for farmers, especially down here in Washington County, Iowa. Um, the main takeaway from today and looking at a variety of different fields, we're looking at some of our other trials too um, with Midwestern BioAg, with Ag Biologic, a um, couple different product trials with those guys. And basically just with everything that we've seen, a big takeaway this year is that sulfur deficiency and manganese deficiency is extremely prevalent. It's showing up in the leaves of the sulfur showing up bad in the corn, the magnesium um, and, or manganese showing up really bad in the soybeans. There's some major things going on there that have got to be addressed. Um, we're leaving yield on the table for sure. We're leaving crop health on the table for sure. And with sulfur, sulfur is utilized to help in utilizing nitrogen. So if we don't have sulfur there, we're not being efficient with our nitrogen usage. So you can apply all the nitrogen that you want more and more and more all the time because it's, for the most part, it's fairly cheap right now. So there's a lot of guys putting on quite a bit of nitrogen, but you can put on as much as you want. If you don't have the sulfur there, you're not going to be able to use it. And so the sulfur deficiency is showing up because we're not getting sulfur from the air because we used to, there used to be sulfur in the air when we burned a lot more coal. But now with the Clean Air Act and whatnot, we don't have um, as much sulfur coming from the air anymore. And the sulfur that's in the soil gets depleted out. Sulfate and nitrate are like cousins. So they both leach, they both move a lot in the soil, so it's tough to keep it out there. Um, I, I think we're gonna see a lot more spoon feeding of nitrogen just like we do, uh, or spoon feeding sulfur just like we do already with nitrogen. So um, we're experimenting with a variety of different products looking to help us to do better there, pulling a lot of tissue samples and soil samples to get a better look into that. But be looking for, for sulfur issues in your soil samples and your tissue samples and uh, be looking for better tools to be able to counteract those issues. Contact us if you want some more info about some of the things that we're looking at and um, be able to help connect you with some potential products that can help to reduce um, the issues that we're having with sulfur deficiencies. So um, we got some pictures queued up in this of what to look for and uh, let us know if you're seeing some issues and we'd, we'd love to help you out. So thanks for watching.